Okay, what we're using is a mailbox maximizer. Comes in a box. Scattered my innovations. Patent pending. previously uh, in another video but this typical white box and this he slides out that a little later uh, but we're going to get started on actual building the mailbox I've already drawn and drawn the base of the mailbox onto the floor uh, I'll measure it here in a second you a rundown of what it is. This one here is nineteen and three quarter by twenty three and a quarter. And one thing we're also doing new this time is we have pieces of cast stone that are made into a arch for the top instead of using brick over the top. This is not something I've ever seen done in a top like this. Basically, we have two pieces that will make the top and they'll go over the top of the maximizer for easier installation. We'll get started here on laying out the base and I'll go over everything you need. Uh, Here. 
I'm building this inside a shop today because it's about 23 degrees outside. And it's sleeting right now. And there's a level. I squared up my, my drawing with the square. Uh, I've made my Type S mortar. Uh, I use TXI Type S. Um, That's what we're using, making our cement. I have just a trowel, a tuck corner, and a level. Is all I'm using. This is the type of square I use to mark it off right here. Real simple. What I'm going to do is lay down a base. Start here. Just lay the edge of the brick to the line that you're drawing on the floor or on the concrete. Start this, you need to level one side and then both ends. All right, so and then this side. The reason being is if you level this side, level this side, level this side, then go across the front, then you 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 can you can mismanage your your bubble, end up having a little more room. Uh, on one side or the other. I'm just uh, since you're straightening the line, just go around the outside edge. Uh, you're straightening all the brick. You should pull your head joints, but we don't want to leave any of this mortar down inside here. Uh, just for the sake, it's, it doesn't need to even be there. Now. This is just two brick wide, two brick and a bat in depth. And we're just gonna go straight up with it. One thing I wanna show uh, is it is 326. February the 11th. The one thing I didn't go over 
is plumbing, plumbing your brick, which is just making sure your brick is straight up and down. Which, you know, the first course you're so close to the ground, you should be just fine unless it's just really, really tough one way or the other, but you should be fine. Then we're going to start over again. Just go around the front of this thing. Just even steady. Flush of mud. Uh, don't want to put too much. It doesn't take, it doesn't take huge amounts. Means it's so cold outside. It was a little harder for me to do this because I had to thaw my sand out with a heater because it was in the back of a truck frozen. Uh, makes it a little tougher. But basically, you're just going to reverse what you did on the, on the back to on the front. So you'll have two brick in the back. all the way up and basically uh, here where we're at they use the roll 36 to 42 to the center of the mailbox so I usually go up uh, 12 courses which are these brick put me right at 36 inches and that puts the center of the mailbox at about 42 so I'm going to uh, shut the camera off build this up to the bottom and I'll see you in a minute 